John's the forerunner of Jesus, and thus far in his preaching, it's been preparing the people. Kind of more, here's where you are, and here's what needs to happen. Now he's shifted to talk about Jesus, basically the one who he is the forerunner for, essentially, the one who he's preparing the people for. And one of the ways that he makes that transition is by contrasting, by talking about the difference between his baptism and Jesus' baptism. Essentially, what he's saying is, my baptism is not final. It's a baptism of repentance, looking forward to something that's going to happen. Jesus, who's greater than I, uh, Jesus, who is uh, superior in function and role, he's coming with a baptism that is with the Holy Spirit and fire. So it's not two baptisms, one of spirit, one of fire. It's one baptism together. Um, and that is, for a believer, a purifying baptism. So the Spirit, it falls in Acts chapter 2. Uh, Jesus ascends into heaven and then he sends the Spirit, the helper, to come. And so every believer, when they profess Jesus as Lord, repent of their sins, they're filled with the Spirit, which for them has an effect like fire, a purifying effect. So Jesus' baptism then uh, is one that, that is evidence of salvation um, with the Spirit coming upon the believers, but then also sanctifying. It, it purifies you, makes you look more like Jesus. For those who reject Jesus, uh, that baptism is a judgment. So the fire there is speaking of uh, uh, what it's going to talk about in the next verse, an unquenchable fire, a fire of judgment there. But the division between the two is basically how you respond to Jesus and how you respond to, to his ministry. So what John's saying is, is get ready for the one who is to come because you've got a really important decision to make.